What's up beat gang welcome back to the channel it's your boy Roro and I'm back with another one guys today I'm going to teach you guys how to make homemade soup and it's gonna be chicken soup and normally I will put some chicken foot or chicken paw in it but today we don't have that so we're just gonna use chicken and these are all my ingredients over here we got some potato right here we got some scallion we got some thyme we got some carrot and we got two pieces of pumpkin so I'm gonna wash the pumpkin off and then I'm gonna put it in a pot just like this and I'm gonna show you guys a little magic trick my mom teach me so your pumpkin um, so your soup can look yellow and rich so now and guys not because you see um the potato green these thing on it that don't mean it can't use it still can use this right now if you put it in the ground you'll probably get some more potato but we don't have time for that right now so I'm gonna peel them here too and put in a pot but this is like for the last minute okay but me just to show you guys what we are putting in the pot so now I'll pause this video and I'm gonna chop up the chicken ring stuff with some vinegar and I'm gonna put the chicken after my rings it off with the vinegar inside the pot and the pumpkin at the same time but I'm gonna chop this up in like a couple of small pieces so everybody can get some and um the basically the pumpkin and the chicken is going going gonna go inside the pot same time because we don't want nothing for cook faster than anything I mean the pumpkin can always cook but the reason why I do that is because sometimes I want the chicken for kind of mash out look a bit and they give you that nice chicken soup flavor okay but i don't want to make a long video so i'm gonna stop this video and then i will be right back oh okay guys i'm back um so i just finished chopping up the chicken and i'm gonna put some vinegar on it to rinse stuff or wash it and then i'm gonna put it inside the soup pot and let the chicken and the pumpkin um cook in the meal while I'm sorry guys if you hear me talking funny it's because my allergy is killing me um, if you guys know something strong that can't work you can leave some comment down below normally I be taking um Allegra, Allegra D but that's not working for me right now so if you know something strong will actually work you can leave some comment down below so um, you guys when you chop your chicken up it doesn't matter um, what size you cut it up you can cut it up this size or whatever size work for you but um i know you guys probably gonna say this is a lot of chicken but it's not really a lot because this was actually like four pieces of chicken um leg and quarters and i just chop it up into this size <clears throat> so whenever you chop your chicken up whatever size matter for you or whatever size work for you because I don't have a chicken foot, that's why I chop it up that small, okay? So over here now, let's come back to the pot. Over here, we got the pumpkin. Like I said before, I was gonna wash it off and just put it inside the pot to let it cook. You can see the steam coming out and if you look on it, you still see the skin because I just cut the skin on everything. So that's that right there. Let's come back over here. Okay guys, um, I'm by myself, so I'm gonna put some vinegar on the chicken. Okie dokie. I'm gonna have to pause the video to wash my chicken. So I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be right back because I'm gonna um, wash the chicken real quick and then put it in another pot. So I'll be right back guys. Okay guys, I'm back. So I finished washing my chicken. And um, I forgot to mention one thing guys, when you um, clean up your chicken and chop it up like this, make sure you take off the skin before you even chop it up like this. All right. It doesn't even matter if you chop it up and then take off the skin, but just make sure you take off the skin because you don't need the skin. So I'm about to put the chicken inside the pot right now. Okie dokie. As you can see, I'm putting my chicken inside the pot. <laughs> guys please if you know something strong girl than allegra d just leave some comment down below that would 
be helpful please if you don't mind i need something stronger than allegretti like i said before guys at night time i can't breathe my nose is so stuffed up it's kind of okay in the day but in the night oh my god i can't breathe so i'm putting the chicken inside the pot right now and we're gonna let the chicken and uh, pumpkin cook in the meanwhile and then after the chicken and the pumpkin cook in the meanwhile then like at the last minute we're gonna cut up these um green season over here which is the um the potato this we're not gonna cut this up we're just gonna cut off those roots peel it a little bit get rid of those um rotten leaf right here or these dead leaf right here and then once we cleaned up a little bit we're gonna um just fold it up and then put it in the pot <laughs> the time we're gonna wash up and then this we're gonna cut it up so i'll be right back okay guys so i'm um, about i'm just gonna instead of waiting i'm gonna peel these real quick and then i'm gonna um wash the dough, wash this container out with some soap because i just have the chicken inside of it so i'm gonna wash this out with some soap cut these up and then once i cut these up i'm gonna show you what it look like and how i do it like i said we're gonna take these roots off and clean it up these we just gonna wash it and fold it up a little bit and just chop it inside the container but we have to wait till the chicken and the pumpkin cook before we put all of these inside it okay so let me rinse this out with some soap and then um cut these up and then i will be right back okie dokie guys i'm back i'm back this is how it look when everything cut up okay and like i tell you i cut the root off and i just give it a little crush and fall as you can see the put it my unclean guys okay you can see the potatoes on the bottom and it doesn't matter which size you want to cut yours up whatever work for you okay and um these little black thing right here they call pimentos if you don't have the um any that's also okay you don't have to put it in there but that only give you like a lot of flavor but this is how it look all my green seasoning cut up okie dokie so i'm just gonna leave that right there let it sit because we're still not ready to put it inside the pot yet let me go over this side now and see how the pot look Ooh, look at that it's bubbling up oh my god make my phone fog up a little bit um i think my pumpkin is also ready so i'm gonna take it out and i'm gonna um i'm gonna crush it that's what my mom teach me and it give it that yellow nice look when you crush it or mash it up or whatever way you want to call it but i will be right back guys okay guys i'm back um so the pumpkin is cooked and the chicken is still cooking as you can see inside the pot okay um what i'm gonna do right now guys i'm gonna use the fork and i'm gonna crush it and then i'm gonna put it back inside the pot so uh, let me crush it real quick and then put it inside the pot and show, show you guys what it looked like and like i said before guys my mom teach me this trick okie dokie guys i'm back um this is our look with the pumpkin mash so i'm gonna put it in the pot and i will be right back i'm gonna pause this video again scrape it up put it inside the pot and i will be right back okay guys i'm back um this is how it look with the pumpkin inside the pot let me stir it and let you guys see it after i guess after everything start dissolve oh damn this is getting dark so we need the light but this is how it look with the pumpkin inside the pot right now it's only two pieces of pumpkin anyway but um when i reach down to the nitty gritty you're gonna see how everything look and in the same time the, the chicken is gonna cook as well this camera shot some more
and then you know one side the noodles the, the chicken foot no i mean the chicken noodle and them stuff there it's gonna give it the coloring and the flavor and all of that good stuff but this is how it look right now i'm just gonna cover it again and let it go on to, and let it go and do its thing and then i will be right back um i might show you guys the finished product because i'm doing it step by step so after i put the green seasoning like the potato the scallion the thyme and the carrot and then when i get ready to put my dumpling in another pot as well then i will show you guys all of that good stuff too so i'll see you guys soon bye okay guys i'm back this is how it look um as you i don't know if you guys can see it's getting um the water is getting yellow but i don't know what's going on with my light i think one of the bulb is blow but um it kind of looked dull but anyway guys this is how it looked the pumpkin and everything is coming together so what i'm gonna do right now and the chicken is still cooking at the same time what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna throw my green seasoning inside the pot so let's do this guy hopefully now i'm gonna splash up on my phone okay let's do this uh, oh. give me one second guys it's kind of hard uh, here we go so I just put my green season inside the pot okay and we are going to store the pot so what we're gonna do now we're gonna leave the carrot to cook and the Irish and then we're gonna start kneading the flour to be put inside the pot. So this is how it looks so far. And if some of your chicken mash out while you're doing it, that's okay. Because it's still gonna it's still gonna be eating, okay? So um, after I need my flour, then I'm gonna um, I will be right back. But this is how it looks so far. I need to figure out what's going on with this bulb, guys. So we're gonna let the carrot cook and the potato cook, and then we're gonna um, then we're gonna um, come back and put the flour inside the pot. And also I got a couple corns as well I'm gonna put inside there but you can put the corn in there last because the corn cook really fast. You can put the dumpling on the corn at the same time. So okay guys I'll be right back after I need my dumpling and after the potato and the carrot cook. I'll be right back. Okay guys I'm back so I um, need the dumpling and everything so now I'm gonna get ready to uh, make it and put it inside the, inside the pot. Um, you want when you make your flour with some water, you want to make sure it have this um, texture. It's not supposed to soft, and it's not supposed to hard. And, and then over here, we got a couple pieces of corn, frozen corn. This is all I have, and that's what I'm gonna use. Everybody gonna get a piece and satisfy. And um, let me stir the pot again. This is how it look. Um, the microwave have a local light, as you can see, it have local yellow night. I'm gonna put a noogly night yet. Okay. Like <laughs> so let me make my dumpling and put it inside the pot with the can and then we're gonna make the dumpling cook and then we're gonna add the noodle for last. So I will see you guys in a few. Okay guys, we are almost there. Um so now we put the rest of the dumpling and to start float and once it start float you, you know that means it's cooked and as you can see we got some chicken and mash out and thing for eat that nice soupy look and the can in there as well okay so this is where we are at right now so now we put the dumpling and to start float more the rest of them for start float and um also Normally when I see the world in my float guys, I don't turn off the stove same time I just get a look at 
extra five minutes or extra ten minutes so you make sure the dumpling cook and it don't hurt your belly so this is how it looks so far okay um the only thing guys we don't have no cut noodles so i'm gonna use i think it's the fish noodle that's the one i'm gonna use but trust me guys it's still gonna taste the same or even nicer because the other day wifey was like you sure it does taste the same and i said yeah and then when I, look, <laughs> when I look guys must be about two times in going I pot you must be bombay I'm never going to say that taste good lie I tell people lie <laughs> but yeah guys we don't have the cat noogle so what we have we are going to work with so um, I'm going to use the fish noogle and thing and thing so I'm going to add the fish noodle um, I think that's going to be the last part of the video and thing and thing so I will see you guys in another video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe peace thank you for watching peace i'm out okie dokie guys i'm back this is my last video and final video so um this is my fish noodle right here like i said um normally you should say cup noodle for the chicken but we don't have that today so we're gonna use these so i'm gonna what i'm about to do i'm about to tear these open thread inside the soup and um give it the flavor and guys i know these two not gonna work because this is a big ass pot of soup so what i'm gonna do is to give it a nice taste once it's fresh you can um always add stuff to it but if you put too much in it you can't take away back from it so this is what i'm gonna use as well all purpose season to give it um, some flavor as well so it have that little nice taste to it because these two alone are not gonna work so I'm just gonna pour these in there and then I'm gonna stir it and taste a little bit to see how it tastes if it's too fresh or it, you know you guys know where I'm coming from okay well anyway guys this is my final video with the soup um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We will see you guys in the next video. You have Peace. to show them when it's done. Eh? You have to do the final video when it's done. That's not your final video. I wasn't planning on making a final video. But I, uh, okay, guys. I guess I'm going to um, show you guys the final product then. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So this is the finished product. I'm about to turn off the stove right about now. Um... The reason why I let it stay for a little bit, the fish noodle that I put inside the pot, it has some little noodle in it. And you want to make sure the noodle is cooked. So you don't hurt your belly. And guys, um, let me show you this again. This is what I use to add some flavor to it as well. But if you don't have this, you can use whatever you want to use to give it the flavor so it have the look nice. Um, flavor to it and if like I said before if you don't have that you can also use this but be careful when you're using this one okay <laughs> you don't want to use too much of this because it's very salty it's very salty but yeah guys that's about it I don't know why she want me to show you guys the finished product but anyway that's about it guys don't forget for like share comment and subscribe peace we are out you are